What's going on YouTube? Kamikaze Von Doom here with another Division 2 video. Now shout out to the DoD Disciples of Doom. And in today's Division 2 video I'm going to show you the best XP farm in the game right now. This is the best and fastest XP farm you can do in the Division 2. I can get up to 460,000 plus XP in under a minute. Not only that, but if I am doing my summit challenges while doing this farm, I can get over 500 to even 550,000 XP in under a minute. This is under one minute. And I can do that solo. You can do this solo with two players all the way up to four players. It really doesn't matter. The only difference is that the NPCs will scale to the number of people that are in your group. The only exception is having two people in your group. That is the best way you can do the farm. However, I'm going to show you how to do it solo and I'm going to show you how to do it in a group, even a group of four. I think I'll show you um, actually examples of all of them with a two man, three man and a full group. It doesn't matter. It's still the same effects. You get this done in under one minute and you're done. Wipe, rinse and repeat. You can do this over and over and during this global event, it is perfect. For example, if you look right here, I am over 100 stars for my global event. And this just started two days ago. I still have another four and a half days of this global event, and I'm already over 100 stars. Not only that, but I'm already shade level 3352. I think I just did a build video, what, maybe last week, and I was level 3100. So I'm getting some XP really, really quick. Now, this is going to be a complete guide start to finish with my build and everything in between. That way you know exactly how to do this farm, what build to run for the farm, and, you know, if you mess up and say you have to come back to it later, I'll show you exactly how to, you know, get back up here fast, quick, and in a hurry. So sit back, relax, grab that popcorn. Don't forget to hit that like. Please support this video. Share it to everyone. This is the best XP farm in the game. I'm going to show you exactly how. You can see on screen right now. I am at heroic with seven directives active and I can do this solo and in a group with no problem at all. No one's going down. No one's having any problems. It's super easy and I'll explain exactly why. So hit that like, subscribe if you haven't already and ring that notification bell. I am bringing you guys division videos every single day. And let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. If you're one of the uh, random people I joined in uh, LFG, then uh, let me know. It's cool seeing you guys. All right, so here is the build first and foremost. So this is my status effects monster build. I've done multiple build videos on this because it is a incredible build to use, especially for PVE farming, speed runs, anything like that. And this is another type of speed run. You're trying to kill these enemies and bosses as quick as possible. That way you can wipe, rinse, and repeat. You can do this really really fast. I believe you could probably, if you're just bouncing through it, just nonstop, you could at least get 50 levels an hour, maybe even 60 if you have the right crew and you're just knocking them out, you know, one by one and you're not worried about the gear. But looking at the build. So first up, I am using the flamethrower, uh, the firewall specialization for the extra burn duration. You're going to need that to uh, get the status effects on all enemies at all times. Now, there are two different ways I am spreading the status effect. The first way is from Creeping Death, and this is what really kills a lot of the enemies quick. Now, a lot of people still fully don't understand this, so let me try to explain it a little bit you know, more clear in this video. So, Creeping Death. Say I run up on an enemy and I shoot them with a Burn Sticky. Creeping Death will immediately spread that to all enemies around them within an 8 meter 
radius. So this means that they are all taking the exact same damage and burn that that initial enemy is taking instantly. I don't have to wait for that first enemy to die for it to spread. It's instant. So as soon as I shoot one enemy, they all go under that status effects. And that's how they are dying so quick. Now, the other way to spread the status effect is from Eclipse Protocol. I'm using the four piece of Eclipse Protocol, and it gives me that talent indirect transmission. Now, not only that, but I am also using the chest piece for Eclipse Protocol. So I get increased range and refresh percentages for indirect transmission. So you can see here on the top right, indirect transmission, your status effects will now spread on kill. And then if you look in the bottom right, it says it will now spread to all enemies within 15 meters and refresh that status effect by 75%. So now I'm killing enemies from creeping death and it's spreading on kill from Eclipse Protocol. But that's not the only thing hurting them. I also have the Vial Mask, so every time I put an enemy on a status effect, it is also doing damage over time from the Vial Mask. So this is how all of these enemies are dying so damn quick. It's because I'm spreading the status effect in two different areas, and I'm injuring those enemies in two different areas. So the Vial Mask is another must-have for this build. Now, I'm using it with the Scorpio and Test Subject. Easy way to proc both of those. And because of the directives, I am mainly using the TDI card custom uh, with InSync. Now, the number one skill I recommend you use is the Burn Sticky. You can shoot this within their spawn. So say the double doors open up and you see the enemies, you can shoot the Sticky Bomb into that doorway and kill all of those enemies instantly. This is an amazing skill to use for this uh, farming method. Now, you can also use a Jammer Pulse. This will um, not only proc the vial, so it will actually hurt the enemies, but it'll also make them stagger and be disoriented and disrupted for you know a few seconds. Now, this will help you you know gather yourself, you know kill those enemies while they're disrupted, and then you know use that burn sticky again to uh, kill the remainders. Uh, you can use the jammer pulse if you want. This is just like my muscle memory. I like to do that because I run and gun while I'm using these uh, skills and you'll see that in the gameplay uh, shortly after. So other things you could change the jammer pulse to, maybe the stinger hive, maybe you could do the shock trap or maybe the shrapnel trap. You could switch it to maybe uh, riot foam, you could do the fire starter. There's multiple skills that you could use in place of this pulse, but this is just the way I'm using it. So for all the gameplay, uh, for, the, for the most part, you're going to see me either use the jammer with the burn sticky, or sometimes I'll use the stinger hive with the burn sticky. The stinger hive is perfect for putting it on that spawn door. That way, whenever you do kill the boss, you could go back and uh, kill all the enemies that come out of that spawn. Okay, now that we have that all under control, let me uh, show you a start to finish on how to get up to floor 10 and how to get the right uh, floor 10 to spawn because there are different floor 10s within the summit and it needs to be this specific uh, floor 10. So let me show you all of that start to finish on how to get the, to this point, and then I will show you how to do this farm in its entirety. I'm going to show you how to do it solo and in a group. That way you know exactly how to do this in all forms of the farm. Now, um, yeah, let's jump over to that. I'll show you how I got here. We'll go through the gameplay and then get you out of here. So uh, without further ado, let's jump to that. Make sure you guys are sharing this video and hitting that thumbs up. It really does help this video out and everyone needs to know about this farm. It'll get your levels up, your shade levels up, your season levels up. It'll, it'll help 
get some proficiency ranks. It is not the best way to do that for proficiency ranks or loot, but it is a great XP farm. This is by far the best XP farm in the game. You can do all this in less than one minute, and you can get over 460,000 XP per run. But all right, so let me uh, let me walk you through it and everything. So enjoy, and we will be right back. Okie dokily. So now we are back in the lobby because whenever you leave, so say you have to like go, you know, to the store, you have to go get dinner, whatever it is, and you have to leave the game and come back, it's going to automatically put you at floor 11. So I want you guys to realize, you know, you're going to have to come back here and go through those floors again or find someone else that already has floor 10 with the directives and the global event. So you can see right here it says starting at floor 11 and I am resetting to floor 1. Boom. So it shows floor 1. I do this on normal with all of the directives. No, no region, hard to earn, fragile armor, fog of war, armor hoarders, pistols, and special ammo. I do not do rangers, scavenge skills, or cool skills because I am using a skill build. Now, ra uh, Ragers does make the enemies more tanky, so it's going to be a lot harder to do. So let me go through all of these, and then we'll get back up to floor 10. All right, so now we are at floor 9. I mean, technically, it's about to be floor 10. So what happened here is I did all of these solo. It took about, I don't know, about 20, 25 minutes to get through all of those floors. Now you can see all of my directives are active and I know a lot of people are going to say, well, why even have directives if you're just going to run through it on normal? What's the, what's the point? Well, I've already gained two shade levels doing this. That's why it is super easy to do. So I'm using this in the same technique that I'm doing the floor 10 farm. I'm just running around with my pistol. I'm killing everything with my skills and then that's it. Now the cool thing is, is now I'm also getting that 150% bonus of XP doing these floors. So even when I'm just simply trying to get up to floor 10, I'm still getting a lot of XP. And this makes it worth it. Now, yeah, this, these enemies are spreading out and I hate the Wally bot. This, this is gonna suck, hold on. Let me find that controller and I'll kill him. You can also use this pulse to find enemies. There they are. See how it shows where they're disrupt. Um, eh, I can't shoot him there. Hold on. Gotcha. Got him. Oh, the other enemy ran. Damn, he ran all the way across. All right, let me go. Hold on. Now it's going to take you eh, probably about a minute to two minutes tops to do each floor. And there we go. So now I'm done with floor nine and now I've reached floor 10. So once you reach floor 10, you do not want to start the floor. So let me show you. All right, so we are reaching floor 10 right now. So here's floor nine, you take the elevator to floor 10. Now you can see it still says normal with all those directives, right? Well, I need to have the right floor 10 and that's what I was trying to get everyone to understand is there is a certain floor 10 that you want. Now let's see, see this one, this is not the right floor 10. So I hit return to lobby and then I go back to the lobby. But not only that, but I had to go back to the lobby regardless because I need to switch it from normal to heroic. And then that's where you get all of that crazy XP. Now yes, the enemies are a little tanky, but as long as you have the build, you're, you're good to go. So just put it on heroic, keep all of those directives active. That way you also get that 150% for the XP and you are good to go. Now we just have to find the right 10 floor to, uh, you know, to farm. And let's see. Come on. Big money. Yep. And this is the right 10 floor. You can see it has that little door in the center. Everything's good. And now we can just sit here and farm this until our eyes bleed. We can do this as long as we want. Perfect timing. Booyah. All right. So now I'm going to show you me doing this solo. And then I'll show you me doing this in a group. 
So first solo, you shoot the guardian, the guy with the yellow over his head, and then you see how it spreads to all the other guys, and then you're good to go. Now this is the spawn door. The spawn door is to your right. Now the boss is either gonna spawn out of this door or he's gonna spawn out of the door to the, your left. So you can see the door's right there. That's where he spawned out of, and he's right here in front of those doors. Ouch, and he's hitting me like a Mack truck. What the F? All right, let me kill, kill him real quick. And I'm even doing this just with my pistol for now, and you can see it, it's super easy to do. And then remember, you have your Scorpio or your test subject to finish him off. But right there, and then you go right back to the spawn door, and then that's it. So the enemies are going to keep spawning out of this door. And this is where you're just posting up. You kill them all, and then that's it. You're done. Boom. Easy enough. And you can see 460,000 XP just from clearing the floor. That's not with any of the challenges or anything else pretty legit and then remember just kill yourself and then do it all over again all right now for this one i'm gonna see how fast i could do this one solo so this is just me solo i put on the stinger hive oh and the boss came out of this one nice so if you can do it right you can get the boss to come out at this uh checkpoint or uh spawn point and then use any means necessary, take them out, and then that's it. Just take care of these enemies and you are done. Let's see how fast this takes. And that's it. Boom. That took 34 seconds. That just took me 34 seconds. 460 plus thousand XP in just over 30 seconds. That's insane. Serious trauma detected. So what I'm about to show you is me doing this with a three-man group. So this is going to be um, me doing the farm with a three-man group. Come on. Two of us are running... Um, actually, I'm the only one running status. The other guy's turret drone, and then the other guy's a healer. But same thing, just hit the guardian in the center. I use my jammer pulse, that way it covers everyone. In this one, they decide to use scavenge skills, which it is what it is. You just have to make sure you pick up your tokens. All right, there we go. Now for this instance, with there being so many enemies, you kill that spawn and then you go to the boss. And then as soon as you kill the boss, it'll open up this door again, just like so. And in this one, I'm going to use my flamethrower. You know why? Because why not? Some people just want to watch the world burn. And there we go. Pretty crazy, huh? It's insane. What? We just did that in, what, like 30 seconds again? And that one's 483,000 XP per run. Super good farm. For this one, I'm in a four-man group. And for this one, we do two left and two right. So we're going to have two people go left, and then two people um, stay next to that spawn door. Because with four people, there's even more enemies. Oop. And the boss came out of that back door, so we're going to wait. Take care of all those enemies, and then come back here to the boss. And then once we take out the boss, it'll give us those last two waves of the farm. So remember, you need to do... Oop, there's a guardian active. We're, oh, no, nope, he's dead. All right, cool. So now it's just the boss. But basically, once you start this farm, you have the initial wave of enemies. Once you kill them, it will release the boss and one wave of enemies. If you kill that one wave focus on the boss and then come back and there will be two additional waves right here in the door and then that's it game over so in in uh summary there should only be four um spawns of enemies and then that boss and then that's it it's over boom it's just chaos it looks amazing but all right, that's going to end that. 
I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe if you haven't already. That is my XP farm for both solo and team use. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in the next one. Take care, everyone. Peace.